place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race today i'm going to be out showing you different wholesalers that you can use and you can look the, these people right here up a lot of these wholesalers i'm not sure if they do shipping and stuff like that but this is one that i'm going to walk into today and show you some of the batch basket options and stuff that they have Many different baskets. So many different baskets, but I do have to find out the prices on these, okay? So thirty by thirty six. And and the thirty by thirty six. Uh-huh. 150 each. That's a good price. Look at this roll though. Oh yeah. A nice good size bag of wrap for Easter. I think the orange should be a cute color too. I just have to see how much they are a bag first. Uh, this five ninety five. Ain't nothing no. That looks a nice little green. That's five ninety five too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I gotta figure out. Cause this is a nice size bag. These are some basket options. And you know it was just Valentine's Day. These are normally full. Let me see the ones you got in your hand, Kelsey. Nice, cute, thick basket. Different size. All you want for bags. All kind of bags. These are the prices. Full box, I guess that ain't bad. A hundred bag? Yeah, that's a good that's a good price. Um I don't know though. A hundred. How many was again? Like twenty. And they are low because of Valentine's Day. But let's just see. This one is. What's over here? Tissue paper? Tissue paper. 24 sheets for three dollars? That's good. Hold up, 24 sheets. How many are these? You get 35 for a dollar. Okay, let me get 25. Let me get 25. 35 for a dollar. So I'm going to just do a recap of what I got out of here. These shredded bags that I saw y'all, they were $4 a piece. And that is a good deal, I think, for all of this for $4. So I got this in orange, purple, and I also did green. Okay, so these baskets, these baskets were $10. So I would say only use these if you're doing something like for a business person, conservative, like if somebody wanted one of those um, get well baskets. Because as you can see, it's a big old basket. You know, that's a big basket. So I would only use these for certain purposes. They also had these little Easter egg things for a dollar. They are cute. They had the Mother's Day um, little sticks that you can stick in your basket. They were four dollars. I'm getting wet up trying to show y'all this stuff. But, and then I got this basket as well. This color is so beautiful. I love this basket. It's too cute. But, it was a $10 basket. Those are not baskets that we're using. Now, for a gift basket business, we're definitely using those for certain types of gifts. But, as far as Easter basket, Mother's Day basket, somebody that's going to spend like $100 or $200 on a basket, that's when we would get into these nice elegant gift baskets for ten dollars i would definitely use this for a mother that i'm gonna put so much stuff in and charge him two hundred dollars okay i wouldn't use a cheap basket like i normally do from dollar tree okay but i will use these but ten dollars is a lot so it'll be a good that it'll be a good amount if you were looking to stock this up and have so many of them 
so that I would only do these base per order okay but other than that from the hamper house we did the two baskets the sticks this and all of this paper and it came up to $49 but I also have a couple more shredded bags in the bag all right y'all that was one of my gifts um, my warehouses that I wanted to show y'all and let me just tap back into another one I didn't want to be all full out blast with my camera they was low on stock so I didn't want to make them look bad but I will come back he said in about a week they'll be stocked up and I'll redo it and show y'all what they have new okay on to the next one all right so the next one this is the main one everybody been asking me about the market all right, so this is in my city. Everybody wanted to know what candy warehouse I use for my candy. Um, the candy that I was using for Valentine's Day, most of that came from here. Um, if it was chocolates, they came from Dollar Tree or Family Dollars. But mainly, any little different items you saw came from there. This warehouse has everything you need. I'm sorry, I'm tongue tied. But this warehouse has everything you need to put in these Easter baskets. If you're in Georgia, then this is definitely a lo great location that you can help stock your Easter baskets up. Because most of the items, they come in 12s. Um, like this double bubble, I also use that for Valentine's Day. It's in the wrong spot. But later on down, I walk down. You'll be able to see the price. But everything comes basically in 12. Some of them are 24, 48. Like those lollipops are, um, I think they're 24 for $4. I think. I couldn't just see the price. I didn't show you the price of those suckers. But what I'm saying is um, the Easter items, the larger items that I'm looking to put in my Easter basket, most of those come in 12s. Like this bag of Chewies, I use those if I'm good doing like a bucket or anything. Just say those Easter eggs that we want to open up. We can put some of this $3.45 candy where it's $280, $240. It depends on what kind of candy in it. But it has a lot of candy for $3.45. You can put them in the Easter eggs and have them as a basket stuffer, you know. Things like these candy scrolls, y'all, these Flintstone scrolls is something that I like to eat, even as an adult. One of my favorite candies, when I'm sitting around, like even doing these videos, I love to eat those candies. You get that whole box of 18 for $6.99. Different Mikey and Nights in the boxes, Mambo's, all this stuff. Like they got all the candy, lady candy. All the candy from when I grew up that you can eat. A lot of different stuff. These things like these after shocks, those are great basket stuff. I love to have stuff that are big items. Even though sour punch, I'm sorry, sour punches for $14.99. Those are great basket stuffers because they are big. Even these after shocks, they are big. Anything that's big, I love to put those inside of the baskets to take up space and make it look like it's more than what it is. So just like these fruities they're $5.69 you get a whole bag of them you can use those to fill the eggs when you're doing those buckets you can use that to fill the buckets um those boom i have those i have two of those for my boy baskets even though they're 22 dollars that's like almost two dollars a piece but they are good as i'm sorry they're not 22 they're 19 25 but they are good basket stuffers that i like to use for my boy baskets also, these double bubbles, they are $11.29, which almost, you know, they're 12 crown. You're almost basically paying a dollar a piece. But I do like them for basket stuffers, like I said, because it brings the basket out, make it look like it's more than what it is. Those little toilet things, I use those. Now, these bubble blasters, they are nice big candy guns, but you only get six in the pack. So for $11.29, you're basically almost paying $2 for these guns. I wouldn't, mm, you know, I think they're nice, but I don't know for Easter baskets. You know, we want to keep our price down because we don't know what the parents will pay. All right, so a lot of this stuff, I'm paying a dollar a piece. It's still cheaper than Dollar Tree being $1.25. But I don't want to overdo it because, as you see, I'm having to buy 12 at a time. That money builds up. But they do have a lot of good different items. Um, Dollar Tree has a lot of different unicorn stuff, unicorn baskets and everything. 
this unicorn item that they have here with the candy in it, I think that will be good when you're making unicorn baskets. These are also bubblegum machines, little um, Garfield bubblegum machines, and they are good basket stuffers. But I try to stick with stuff that are larger, so it takes up a little more space. Um, but yeah, this is my candy wholesaler. Oh, everyone was asking about it. I love this place good nice toys for um easter baskets these i love these as well i have about two boxes of these these are for my boys because in dollar tree it is like not too much stuff for boys in there so i like the fact that a few things in this um not even a few things a lot of things in this warehouse are for boys this bead candy i use these for valentine's day as well when i was doing my kids baskets and i like them in baskets as well especially my girl baskets they're 11 29 so once again you're paying under a dollar for it versus the 125 from dollar tree this is a small item but it's a very cute candy item that you can stick in your valentine day baskets the eggs or 11.29 as well 12 of them still paying under a dollar so at the end of the day if you was in georgia this would be a good warehouse that you can substitute from having to go to dollar tree and pay that dollar and 25 cent we're only paying under a dollar because it's 11.29 and also if you have your sales tax id you don't even have to pay sales tax so that saves you a lot of money because at dollar tree we're gonna get sales taxes and we're gonna get that extra 25 cent so yeah all of this is just a lot of different candy options i tried to slow the camera down so you all can see you know i wasn't moving too fast like i'm normally i normally am moving kind of fast especially when i'm in places like this because people was while even here people are walking behind me so i don't want to just be in the way with my camera talking to the camera and stuff like that i try to stay out the way this for 24 dollars was nice i think it's kind of a good idea you're basically paying two dollars a piece because it's 12 in a basket i mean a bucket but i mean a pack not a bucket but inside of the bucket let me slow it down get myself together but inside of this bucket it has a lot of candy so i actually think that the 24 dollars price for 12 two dollars a piece was actually good because of all that the candy had in it and the size of it is definitely going to take up a lot of space inside that basket but yeah this is just my candy house i had to come and show y'all everybody was asking so i came out brought y'all out with me to see some stuff these trolleys are also a nice item for the dollar tree stuff because dollar tree has a lot of trolley stuff a lot of trolley stuff you can make some baskets out of but these was 48 dollars for 12 because i wouldn't want to pay that much for just the candy and you still got to buy the other stuff to put in it but they had a lot of different stuff um barbie paw patrol like these eggs right here i'm sorry i had to pull them down for y'all the camera was a little off but these barbie eggs paw patrol eggs um what other eggs they had they had a lot of different good eggs that you can put in those baskets that range you get six of them for 10.95 so that's a little bit over a dollar a basket i'm sorry a dollar egg which is kind of pricey for just the eggs they also have some eggs inside a dollar tree i like these little cupcake um popping candies they're real cute but they're too small for me to put in a basket like i like i said i like big items but 20 count for nine dollars isn't bad i just like to have something kind of big but they are nice and look at those chico sticks if y'all about my age or a little bit older then y'all know about those chico sticks i love those chico sticks so when i get those i just get those for myself sugar daddies and sugar babies i can't play with those no more i don't want to miss my teeth up but yeah they got some good candy lady candy or old school candy in here all types of lounge ladies all types of mike and knights different candies and those are only five dollars and 49 cents and you get 24 boxes of that candy which is a lot the big laffy taffies big wild ones those are good basket stuffers because they're a good you know a nice size to put in a basket is what I'm trying to say. For twenty dollars, twenty dollars seventy nine cent, you get twenty four. So they're a little bit under a dollar a piece, but they are a nice size. Laffy taffy that can easily fit in them baskets and make it look good. I use these a lot. Um, 
the 36 count Starburst for $24. I use those for when I'm doing my treats. I use those to um, rack up the Starburst if someone orders them for their party. So, yeah, they do have a good price on a lot of day stuff. I love this warehouse. On down, I'm going back to show you because I did pass all of those fruities and laffy taffies that they have. Those fruities are only like $5.69 a bag. Real good price. So, yeah, I do a lot of treats and treat tables. So, I like to use candies like this to either make them a custom treat cover or put on the candy table. And I don't know. Y'all comment down below and let me know. Is it okay to put my treat stuff on here as well? I don't know if I should make a separate um, channel for that. I have cruise videos. I have a lot of other videos that I do want to start posting. But I'm not sure if I would run my um, Valentine's Day. Because when I started this, I was only doing the Valentine's Day. So I don't want to run y'all away. I want to keep y'all with me for next year valentine's mother day all this different stuff but i want to know if it would it be okay if i did combine that stuff all into one channel or change it but anyway those yo-yos was 11.29 for a 12 count so that's not bad it's still under a dollar but it's a small item all of these left tap is lots of different candies that you're paying four and five dollars for getting 12 to 24 packs in it which is a very good price you can easily fill so many baskets off of four dollars if you get what i'm saying they have different stuff they have pringle cans different chips skins household items i use these skittles as well for my treats when i'm doing my um skittle bag i print the custom wrapper and wrap it around it is 33 dollars for 24 um and they the big packs so that's not really bad i'm sorry it's actually 36 in their box the big box the recent pieces any kind of candy you want now i'm showing y'all this and i'm y'all probably gonna get mad because y'all probably not in georgia and i'm not even sure if they ship or not but if you can find your local candy warehouse i'm sure they probably have them in every city every city has a candy lady every city has grocery stores convenience stores that uses these candies so i'm sure you can be able to find your local candy warehouse they should have them in every city all of these good candies um paydays scores hershey's they had a whole variety of hershey's army um, joys all of these are the big long candies that you can easily put in these baskets you can do a lot of stuff this stuff y'all they have pickled pig feet pickled eggs they have boxes of pickles those pickles are the ones that you'll find in a package at the gas station or any other store like you can actually become a whole candy lady i mean i wouldn't because if you know people come to your house and stuff but i'm just saying they got everything in this warehouse up here and i hope you can find your local warehouse get your cheap candy because <laughs> these trolleys are $17.99 for 16 and they are good the full-size trolleys are good to put in those easter baskets like i'm excited y'all i'm ready to start making these easter basket i came here today and saw all of these different candies they had i'm wearing my options i'm not gonna overdo it i overdid it for valentine day i brought oh my lord i bought so much stuff for valentine day even though I did good with those baskets, I just don't want to overdo it and have over 100 Easter baskets. And I don't know how, you know, this is my first year, so I'm feeling it out. I underrated myself for Valentine's Day. But for Easter, I don't know where to start. I don't know if I should start at 50 baskets or 100 baskets. I don't know how people do with these Easter baskets because you can find a $10 Easter basket right now inside of Family Dollar. So I just don't know what they're looking for as far as price go and as far as what you want to put in the basket. I am posting to take pre-orders from Instagram and I will be setting up somewhere to sell out on the street and see if that works, which... It wasn't too good for me for Valentine's Day. It was best to just sell out of the truck. But we'll wait and see. I love those Andy Kelps cheddar fries. Sometimes I go there and only have hot fries. So when I seen this big box of 72 package of um, cheddar fries for $17.49, I had to grab me a box. I love cheddar fries. That's not really bad. You get 72 for $72. That's 
really, really cheap for a bag. And they're a nice side bag of cheddar fries. But, yeah, I hope you all are enjoying this video. I walked you around my whole candy warehouse. We just saw the hookah warehouse. We also saw the hamper house, which those baskets were kind of on the high end level. But as far as cell phone, shrink wrap, that's a good place. I'm going to kick back into regular speed because I had to slow this video down. Okay, let me just walk back before we, we go out. We finna get up out of here because we still have another warehouse we want to show y'all. But it's them, um, um, I don't know. Can't get them from my mama. They, if they, all it is, they, the, um, what's it called? Ooh. They all that kind. I don't know all the kind. Are they? Yep, they banana nut. You want to get them? Mm -hmm. $13.99. I got them. I don't eat no other kind. Okay, but I did want to, um, see some of that bacon stuff. We also have like cooking pans and stuff like that. Drinks. Let me show you the drinks. Seasonings. Gatorades. A lot of different um, fruit stuff. Juices. Drinks. Ten dollars a pack is it? They have the surgical ones for twenty. Those are them black ones. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff in here. Let's see if it's worth it. What else ain't bad? Four sheets. Alright y'all, so the last warehouse I just left out that candy warehouse. I know how y'all be. Y'all be like, you were moving too fast and we didn't get to see it. Listen, I'm in these people place video recording. They probably don't want everybody to see their prices. You know, some of them be like, no video takes and stuff like that. I don't know. I, it was just so many of them in there restocking on every aisle. I just didn't want to be slowly showing their prices on everything they have. I didn't want them to say nothing to me with my camera, but I at least wanted to let you know where it was, what you get out of there, and you saw what they have. I couldn't get you all the prices in every sec, every single. I got me some cheddar fries. I couldn't get you every single item that they had, but hey, I brought you there. My main goal was showing you where I get it from and showing y'all those Easter baskets and stuff like that. So I hope that was good enough for y'all, okay? But yeah, that place is amazing, y'all. All the Easter stuff, all the Easter candy. Now, this the one. Everybody keep asking me about those hookahs. For those of you that want to know about them, this is it. Gunda Wholesale, okay? Now, let's go in here. Let me show you what they got. Look at all these good different hookahs, y'all. Any hookah you can want. Best prices ever. $6.99, something like that is like $10.
Yes. Big, big, big ones be about twenty dollars. I like them colorful ones like that. That clear one is cute. We got a lot of them. Different hookers. All right, so they have a lot of different stuff. But what I came in here to show y'all, that's what I'm about to do. They also have a candy warehouse in here, but I don't like the fact that the prices don't be on their stuff. And I have to go ask, you know. So, I don't get the candy out of here. Hey. Yes, I don't get the candy out of here because I have to, I don't like to have to keep running up there saying, what's, what's this, what's this, what's this? It's definitely where I get all my dough from. $1.99. I mean, $1.19, $1.99 for the spray. Father's Day. I have to stock up for Father's Day. So you can come and spend a 50 here, 50 there if you're doing a lot like I do. 50 here, 50 there. And that'll get you stocked up. Okay. Now I did move pretty fast. Let me go back over here. Those be like $2. It depends. You know, they don't have their prices out. But they do have a good selection of the dull stuff, different stuff for men. If you're in Georgia, this will be a good place for you. You do have to have a business license. Yeah, you do have to have a business license to come in here and buy. And to buy any tobacco products. They have a whole area over there for tobacco products. To buy any tobacco products, you will have to have a, a tobacco license. They will not sell to you without a license. And they're my favorites, y'all. I love coming in here getting those. Yeah, so you do have to have a business license. Um, they don't have any prices on this stuff. I can just show y'all what they have. But, um, yeah, if you're in Georgia for Father's Day, different good stuff for men, okay? Different good stuff for men. Yeah, I like this though, though. Everything is cheap. What's that? Different medicines. Oh. At night time, that's me. Twelve pack car mix. I ain't gonna tell how much it is. Good little stuff to put in a <clears throat> men's basket. Now I do know stuff like these, they be a dollar. These be like a dollar. I ought to get me some more. Yeah, I'm definitely about to get me a few of these. Why not? Since I'm already here. Just get me some different flavors. You want a dollar and some. Now, normally I grab this whole thing. Grab this whole thing. A whole box right here. But I just need a couple for the house. I'm just get a couple for the house. Different ones. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I dropped my stuff. Yeah, but just different little stuff. Get a couple for the kids. Last, I did get this last time. I think it was like $13 for 12 brushes. Good for Father's Day. Oh. Oh. 
different candies. I don't think they have anything for Father's Day though. I mean like Easter. Oh, I love those. I like the sour ones, the crybaby ones. But like I said, they don't have the prices on this stuff. They do not have the prices on this stuff. I need to get some of these. Put in my baskets I'm making for my um for my cruise stuff. That's what I need to do. But just wanted to give y'all a peek at the different stuff they have. I'm not going too fast or too slow. Like I said, they don't have the prices. So this just gives you an idea of what they have. Because they don't have the prices on that. But they are reasonable. I can tell you that. Can tell you they're reasonable. Pretty cheap. These are probably about three, four dollars a bag. Yes, so keep kit. doubling the money. Cause this is a nice kit though. What all come in there? Everything. It's the whole kit. It's so everything. it got the shisha, it got the flavored tilts. Oh wow. I don't have no flavored tilt. They just regular tilt. Oh regular tilt. It tilks. got the flavor in there, it got the coal in there. It got everything. But look at this. One. Okay, look at that. Get that pink one. I gotta get that. I'm gonna get that. No, man. That can go in these. the um, no. Mother's Day basket, just, right? Just wait a minute. Fifteen dollars? How much can I sell this for? 40 30. Oh, I gotta have this. I'm finna get this. I got to. I can put this in the basket. Okay, okay, what you finna show me? Let's see what you're gonna show me. But I want this. I'm, I'm finna get this. Okay, what you got? We gotta talk about with the people we dealing with. Oh, they got different blunts and stuff too, y'all. Different tobacco products. You gotta have a tobacco license for that, though. The purple one. It's a blue one in there. Yeah, I think it's more to just buy the whole case too. That's it's six in a case. Yeah. That's yeah. smart to buy the whole case. Look at this color. So they got black. Yeah, and that way you'll have every color in the box. Yeah. Um, yeah. what is this like good for our Mother's Day? Red. Mother's Day stuff? Yeah. Red. It's another color too. They go to white. I miss another color. It's a blue. It's the case price. Cheap yeah. is still the same price. I don't know, man. I used to get these for $15. They didn't went up. Let me show y'all these um, trays. I also get the trays from here. Look at him. <laughs> he looks so good. That's cute. Okay, okay, so I be getting the trays from here too, y'all. This is what I be putting in my baskets. If, oh, they got the light up ones. But yeah, this is where I get my trays from that I add to my weed baskets. Small and big, then they do be, they be some little fanny packs and book bags. That's cute. Different hookahs up there. See, they had the smallest tray over there, match the big tray. You can match them up. Different stuff.